Hi crafters, sorry for my hairdo, but it's hot in my craft room and when you have long hair and the weather is hot, the best thing you can do, even though my enormously gray hairs, <laughs> is put it up in a bun or in a tail or whatever, just to keep myself a little bit sane. Um, the first thing before I show you what I made is I have a question. I noticed that the last few days my Starbucks box, sorry, my Starbucks <laughs> box is selling really well as a digital cut file. And I was wondering who had tagged me. So if you know, let me know because I want to thank the person and I want to see what the person made with the box. So if you know where this all came from, of comes from, let me know. The second thing, hi Connie, hi Danielle, hi Francine. Uh, the second thing I noticed is that I got a lot of extra followers uh, the last few days. And I still promised and I still will, when I reach 10,000 followers, I will give a big pile of all my designs away and it's a huge pile of uh, chaos craft surprise creations so all these dice will be uh, in the giveaway if i reach the 10 10 000 followers so just so you know if you did not or do not follow me yet please click on the follow button because yeah it's one of my biggest wishes to reach 10 10 Thousand. Oh my goodness, it's a hard word to pronounce. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, when I reach 10K, I think that's easier for me to say, <laughs> I will give away this to one of my followers. And maybe I will divide it up in two. And I will pay for shipping, so don't worry about it. But as a thank you, a thank you for... Yeah, making my dream come true because I never, ever, ever in my widest dreams would um, had an idea that I would reach 10K followers on YouTube. So thank you for that. Hi, Arya. Good morning. <laughs> you get there. You're so close. Yeah, I'm really close. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And if you hear some noise, my husband is working on our shed in the garden because the wood that was on there it was gone and it needed to be replaced. And he is now sawing and hammering and doing all the stuff. He's almost ready. And then I will do before and after pictures uh, of the shed in um, on my Instagram. So for the people who wanted to see, because last year I got so many compliments of because of our beautiful garden that I had something like, okay, I will do a before and after picture so you can all see. But what I uh, wanted to say, I only have a short life today, but I made a 3D cup, uh, a coffee mug or cup or however you want to call it. I didn't have the hot chocolate and the marshmallow, so I uh, added some candies inside of my bag, but it's just so you see that it will all fit. Hi, Joanne. Good morning. <laughs> and yeah, that you see it will all fit. It's a really sturdy one. <laughs> Let me show you the first dummy I made. Uh, there was this one, but the handle was way too big <laughs> when you compare it to the size of the cup itself. So I assembled it and I had something like, mm, that's not right, Nicole. That handle is for people. <laughs> <laughs> with really big hands so I had to adjust it and now I come up with this one and I think this is better than the first one that I made but if you buy the digital cut file you can make it a little bit smaller because I made the cup a little bit bigger I don't know if that's noticeable and I made the handle a little bit smaller so but yeah Sometimes you need to find out with trial and error, I think. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you. Hi, Eve. Hi. <laughs> and what I did, I 
I always like to reinforce my uh, the items that I design and I can show it with this one the best. And I had something, I want to reinforce the inside of the cup. So it's really a sturdy cup because I like sturdy projects made from only paper, but I want it to, to be decorative as well. So what I did, and I don't know if the camera will pick it, pick it up, but inside the reinforcement pieces have scalloped edges. So if you don't fill it up all the way, if you don't have enough filling or don't want to fill it up, there is a decorative edge inside. So it reinforced and it's, um, at the same time, makes it a little bit more decorative on the inside of the cup. And this way, the cup uh, rim is really sturdy. So, uh, yeah, Danielle. Hi, Paula. Yeah. Hi, Anke. Uh, I have your envelope here. After my live stream, I will attach your uh, postage and address and I will bring it to the post office just so you know. <laughs> but I didn't forget about it, but I will bring it to the post office. And um, this way the rim is really sturdy. So if you want to push your hand inside, your cup will not split or have, have any trouble with that. So. And it will be made into a die, Danielle, and it will be sold by the KS Craft Lover store. So uh, I think in, within about two weeks, because I just this morning sent off the design to them. And yeah, they will be making it into a die. It's not a big die set, but I made the handle. So it's a sturdy handle. You don't have a flimsy item at the side. I wanted it to be very sturdy. like. I always try to do my best for. Is the weather good at your place? I hope you're not affected by the flood. Oh, I, I got that question from Janice yesterday. I'm living in the middle of the Netherlands. And if you look at the map from the Netherlands, it has a paw for you guys. Um, if you visualize the map from the Netherlands, the paw, we, we always call it a paw, um, in the paw piece of the... Netherlands, there was the flood, and I'm living more um, around Amsterdam. So I'm in the middle of the Netherlands, and we didn't got affected by the flood, but we saw horrible images of people lost their houses, or there is a place in the Netherlands, we Dutch people, well, let me say it, I, as a Dutch lady, I always like to go to a place called Valkenburg, it's a beautiful place. We don't have a lot of mountains only in that area. And uh, I like the mountains a lot. Uh, and there is a very picturesque place and it's called Valkenburg. And um, yeah, that was affected so much. The city there looks looked amazing, but bridges collapsed and, and people uh, were lost and yeah, it was horrible. So we we also get a lot of those images on the news right now. And um, yeah, but I'm personally not affected. My parents live lower in the Netherlands, but not in that area as well. I don't have any family or people that I know living in that area, but my heart goes out to all the people that lost their houses and lost a loved one or... Um, got affected by the flood. Yeah, it's really uh, a horrible situation. Yeah, but Belgium and Germany are uh, struck harder, I think, than the Netherlands did. So uh, my heart goes out to them as well. Yeah. Um, Oh, thank you. The, great, the cup is great. I like it a lot. I, I'm happy that you like it because I always try to think of making dice um yeah fun and, and interesting and i know there are a lot of cups on the internet i know but yeah i always try to do a little bit things a little bit different uh, hi maya <laughs> 3d coffee cup digital cut file oh <laughs> I, excuse me let me adjust it <laughs> i think i placed um we call it a comma instead of a dot. So I think there I went wrong. 
<laughs> Thank you for telling me. I will adjust it right away because that was not my intention. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let me see if I can adjust it right now. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Yeah, <laughs> see, <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I hope not. Why? Huh? I hope now it's better. <laughs> I don't know. Let me check. I don't know if I adjusted it now. Can you refresh and look for me if it's now corrected? No, it's still. Um, come on. Why don't you want to correct it for me? I think now I corrected it in the good way. I'm sorry. <laughs> It is a little bit expensive. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Love Amsterdam. I've been twice for a musical concert. An amazing place. Yeah, it, I'm. I'm not living in uh, in Amsterdam. I'm living about fifty kilometers from Amsterdam, um, in a place called Almere. Uh, if you look at the map in the Netherlands, it's on the island that it's in the middle of the Netherlands. There is where I live. Belgium is yeah I know Francine Belgium has struck really hard floods are horrible glad you're okay but sad for those who are affected yeah I totally agree and um, I even donated two hundred dollars to um, there is a, a, a how do you call that a money collecting um, company or not a company. Um, they do a money raise and I donated some money. So they um, I wanted to check the price cup. It says 500 euro. Laura, can you please check again? Okay. Yeah, I adjusted it. <laughs> well, you're good, but maybe not that good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Danielle. <laughs> I know. Uh, it, it, the problem is when... We Dutch people write a certain amount. We always use, uh, we call it a comma, the hook thing in between the numbers. And I recently adjust Etsy to Dutch. Uh, when I had it in English, I needed to use the dot. And that's what I did now because I'm so used to uh, use the dot as a mark between the numbers. And there is where I made the mistake because he adjusted it into a comma. So there is where I made the mistake. Um, let me check if it's now. Yeah, now it's corrected. Yeah. Thank you, Laura, for checking. Yeah, I, I made it a donation to charity because I thought, yeah, those people need it really a lot. And yesterday um, and last week I sold a few designs. And I added some money myself, so I could donate 250 euros, I, I think. Yeah. You have to help the people. When I, uh, when my Pink Panther broke down, you all helped me so much. And I think, well, this is my way to do something back for those who are affected by the flood. So uh, I think it's, it's, yeah, not more than normal for me to do, let me say I didn't, I didn't know so good and the right price. Okay. Yeah. But it's now, it's now corrected. Yeah. So yeah, I made it 3D coffee cup. I hope you will enjoy it. And um, if you know who tagged me with the Starbucks, because star box, sorry, <laughs> I keep on saying bugs. <laughs> Uh, let me know because I want first to thank the person and I'm curious where all those people came from who bought my digital cut file. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious. And of course, I'm going to make a picture of the giveaway. So when I reach the 10,000 followers, because this is not me, I will give away a big stack of dice that I designed and Maybe I will pick two winners because uh, only one on ten thousand is a little is only a little bit. So well, I will figure out a few prizes. Let me say it like that. Very pretty. Thank you, Eve. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go ship off Anke her envelope. 
and I'm going to go and see what I can design. And please, if you have new ideas for dice, let me know, because now is the time that sellers are going to ask me a lot for new designs. I can't guarantee that your idea will be made into a die. First, I have to know if I can design it because I'm not good at making dolls and animals. Uh, but um, yeah, then I have a list of ideas that I can go over and see if sellers would like to take it on as a new cutting die design. So if you have ideas, please, 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 put them in the description box or in the comment section below description box. Comment section below, uh, it would be very helpful to me because I'm a little bit out of ideas on what to make right now. Normally my light bulb above my head will go on at certain points, but yeah, I'm a little bit in what should I design now. Yeah. A hanging basket for fake false plants. Okay, but I have to see if that ma is makeable into a cutting die. I think I can only make the pot and not the hanging section because if I make everything out of paper, I don't know if the paper is strong enough when there is content in the inside the pot. So, yeah. And if you give me an idea, please also let me know in what size you would like it. That would be super duper helpful. So yeah, that would be the way to help me a lot getting back into the designing flow. <laughs> I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for being here with me. And if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, let me know and I will be answering them. So I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for watching and until the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>